Kia ora Tato, welcome to the ride live. Here we are, thank you very much, uh, Guild Trap, Skoda, Newmarket, our hosts for another ride live today. Hello Paige. Hello John. How are you? I'm great. Tim. Hello John. Hello, hello. <laughs> How many Ks have you guys ridden first of all? Let's ha talk about hours in the chamois. Oh. Tim's pretty confident he's going to take you out this week Paige. Well, well this week's bit, been a bit different because the Giro has finished which means less time on the trainer, nothing to watch. So it's back to YouTube, watching the ride videos when you're on there. <laughs> you're a sad man. <laughs> you're a sad <laughs> man. You know, watching no, yourself no, on TV as you ride. <laughs> and I've no, had I've the same problem that. do is that it's been raining. Give us a number. I haven't been outside. Uh, Stop, enough excuses. Just number. give me a number. <laughs> Was it? Oh, probably, probably three and a half. Three and a half hours yeah. in a week. Um, in a calendar week. Um, I've rode it two. two. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to, because pathetic. it's raining, oh, I'm so feeling right That's one all then, that's one, all, one all. You guys got to have some better numbers or we're not going to do this competition again. Paige, we try. are you warm enough? It's, it's cold here, right? Oh, we're, yes. We're in Auckland, New Zealand, cold. and winter has hit us. Yeah. It's like five degrees outside. There's, there, was, five there was a tornado. <laughs> there was a tornado in New Zealand today. Yeah. Um, so we thought we'd start by giving you a jacket to wear. And um, it is these actually guys pretty cold. Me, they do. And Giro have just released these new jackets. They're uh, mountain biking jackets. We've got two sorts here, uh, which we wanted to show Ooh. the world. That is actually quite a nice jacket. Cool. Slip that on. I think okay. that one's got a bit of heft to it, like a bit of yeah. warmth to it. Yeah, that's okay. a bit so weighty. If you'd like to model that one, Tim, maybe you will model one of these other ones. We've got this is called a stow jacket. Which one have you got? Um, I've got the smaller version. The of the stow jacket. Stow. Okay, great. We're just going <laughs> to flank you large. with our wonderful... Okay, so oh you nice. guys... So this has got a bit of polar fleece. Not sure if you can see there, but a bit of polar fleece on the inside. Mm -hmm. It is a men's small. Oh, nice. Look, it's got some um, ventilation. You see that? Oh, yeah, I can, can see two see little, two little holes in the um, underarm. Oh, All right, so you guys model these jerseys. Nice. While you're putting those jackets, I'm going to show you the colours of the Giro's New Seasons uh, Road Kit. Um, so this is the kind of the second level down, not the most expensive, like 180 American dollar kit, but the more like the hundred dollars. So the women's colours there, a beautiful sort of almost dandelion pattern for the blue. Uh, also kind of a maroony colour there. And then the guys, got two colours in guys. We've got a kind of a this one here. And this is their Crono Expert jersey. And then the guys blue. Chrono Expert jersey in blue. So there you go, the uh, Giro Chrono Expert jerseys. How do you like the jackets? Love them. Mine's very snug. Yeah, I like yours. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm loving it. Especially with the hood. Right up, and then, yeah, you are all got your helmet underneath, I suppose. You, you know, it's like this, ride life's like Christmas, but you don't get to keep stuff. Yeah, you kind of like, the experience that little bit of luxury just for just 20 minutes, right? And In other then words, it's gone. Christmas <laughs> at your house when you were a kid. Hey, can I just show right? a quick little And your feature? parents are like, here's a present, but then they take it back. Give it to your brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the next year. Hey, so mine, I just wanted to show this little feature. It's got these little gloves. Oh, nice. You know, because you know how when you're riding, and do you guys put your gloves over the top or underneath? Yeah, it's always a debacle, question, right? right? It's a debacle. And it depends on what outfit it's a you put on. Well, this one solves that for you. See, so... No, it doesn't because you're still going to want but your, you've gloves. Got your gloves. But look, this goes under the glove. The glove then goes over and then this fits over the top. Okay. So it just three, bang, bang, bang. Debacle solved. Sweet. My um, only beef with these Giro outfits is, and it's the same beef I've got with every sort of cycling kit for, for the road. You know, you like the gear. Mm. Yeah. The women always get the cooler styles. Yeah. I, I'm always looking at that one and going, oh, oh, that's a nice kit. And then you go, oh, it's the women's kit. Yeah. And yeah. so you've either got to wear it and take the heat of uh, having that, you know. Tell you what, I'm happy. Or ta I'm, tailored for a lady. I'm fine, yeah. Completely fine with that, that issue that you have there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm on the good side uh, of the coin. Just <laughs> objectively, that's a nice kit, and this is an hey, okay. This is an yeah, okay that's blue. kit. Blue. I'd take that. I'd take that. You'd have that with your giant. Blue. Look. Look okay, great. so that's the, one of the women's, and I've just got propel. another woman's here too. I'm not going to lie, these are pretty cool. I hope they come with matching bibs. I think that's a big thing these days. Very cool. Fashionista, kind of like you, right? There we go. John's a fashionista. Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice kit. Yeah, I'm not sure you could wear that, John. Okay, guys, it's time cool. for the um, main event of this Ride Live episode, and that is the debut of a brand new, two brand new pairs of Giro shoes 
that are just being released as we speak worldwide and they are incredible shoes. So what, what have we got here, Tim? Hello. These are the Giro Imperial yet to be released road shoes. Eastern EC90 SLX Sole, super stiff. Uh, generally, uh, I'm a big oh. shoe fan. I love, I love pretty much any type of shoe. I, I think Boys. I may have been oh. born, <laughs> born a girl when it came to cycling shoes, but these things are fantastic. Look, turn it, turn it the other way around. Turn it the other way around. Shoes. Oh, good. You guys were showing one inside, one outside. That looked nice. Hey, so, so we're. The, so these, so okay. these are these are the Imperials. These are the ones with the boa system. Um, it's all made from a like a, a one piece. It's called Tasian Tasian outfit, and it's got sync sync wire. They call this, and the Tasian yeah. is the and, and but it's just got absolutely zero stitching apart from that at the back. Hey, it is just like one don't piece. let it float away though, because yeah. it's only two hundred and fifteen <laughs> grams per shoe. And that is a light road shoe, but what we're about to show you is an even lighter road shoe. Hold how do you make, on, there's more. How do you hey, make can this? Can I just show what, you yes? how good is the ventilation? I'd say very. Yeah. Yeah. Because, see that there? Yeah, but what's, what's your take on ventilation, though? What, what do you like in a shoe? Do you like a cool shoe, or do you like a... Well, I think a cool shoe, because then you can always chuck on wool socks. Yeah, or, or an overshoe or yeah, something like correct. that. So lighter the better, the lighter area the better. the better. And, yeah, especially if you've got rain in the shoes, it's out. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks to uh, Worrells for lending us these shoes. Oh, as they, so these shoes here, I'm proud to report, are only $750. That's New Zealand. Uh, so that's a snap that's for... That's so good. That is really good price point. The sexiest shoe on the market. You know what I would do as soon as I got this, I'd take it to my local shoe making shop, mm -hmm. Gimmels, up on... Um, at uh, the top of Simon Street, and I'd say, you can, can, heel on. can you make me uh, a sole so I can just wear that around to work and stuff? Because <laughs> you've got a pair of shoes like that, you just want to wear with them all day. With a sole that's stiff, it'd be quite uncomfortable to walk in. I'll take the hit. Yeah. I'll take the <laughs> hit. Do I'd love there. to see you on the dance floor. On so, gym. those too heavy at 215 grams? Well, something you can do about that. Oh. You can add laces. Now, you, you so ride that. laces. Yeah, we had this discussion before. I ride laces, and that's because I've come from a track cycling background. And in track, it's all about as little movement in the shoe as possible, so that all power put down is translated straight through the pedal. And um, and also for security, because sometimes these could pop out in a track race. So um, I do use those. However, a uh, little bit of admin involved. Got to keep the laces nice and clean, and got to do them up every day, and la da da. da. So yeah, exactly. White laces. Easier. White yeah. laces would. Uh Although, although, hold on, there's oh, more. Black. There's a set of black wow. laces. Wow. I look, they do look better. Are you guys a lace fan? Because I reckon laces look better. Oh, I think laces look fantastic. Yeah, they are cool. I've, I've never ridden them, but Giro's, I've, I've never been able to fit my dainty little oh, hobbit thin. feet into a pair of <laughs> Giro's because <laughs> they're just feet. too wide to fit try into one a Giro. On, I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they've hold it out so that it doesn't cause any it's issues. It's a drilled out bag. And what okay, you, so what, Paige is going to start. Is going to put that shoe on for us. Is it going to fit? Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's, it's a very, oh. good, very good fitting actually. In fact, oh. Well, what what you, mean, you can't see is Paige uh, doing up her shoes. I don't know if you can see anything under there through that bike. No, the GT. Coming, that, can you see it? Coming. Oh wow! Really? Can you get my ring in it? <laughs> Do they fit you? Are they? So I'm back. Oh, do they approximate? <laughs> back with a do they approximate? <laughs> your leg over there. Oh, uh, look, I'm gonna. Yeah, it's a bit. It's, I'd say it's two it's sizes too big. Two sizes yeah. too big. So you, we're look, getting a bit of scrunching own, at the yeah, front. Yeah, look, we'll make it look like it's perfect. So there we look have it. Mm. Tell you what, I thought I had hobbit feet. Yeah. But they fit perfectly. Nice. <laughs> and therefore, I'm the next uh, ambassador okay. candidate. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Worlds, only 750 bucks, they could be yours. These yeah. ones, only $700. So you ditch the boas, oh, really? you go the laces, you're lighter, you're more aero, a so little bit of admin, cheaper. but you save 50 bucks, and that's the most important thing. Oh, right? I mean, yeah, yeah non negotiable. I've got to tell you, they're like, to me, they're like jewels. These are like little jewels, and I would buy them, and I would never ride them. And do they come in a different color? What if it rained? 
They come in black, but not in New Zealand. Right. Oh, because okay. why would you have black? Because you wouldn't see they'd be featureless. Well, it's, it's a very popular and colour, is black. Stealth mode is yeah. like a new thing, yeah. right? You're an idiot. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, thanks, John. <laughs> I love it. Might um, take it off. Now, we've got one piece of uh, news, at least from the week of cycling news. Um, I found a study that was published in Forbes magazine where the, comp the car company Volvo, boo, because it's not Skoda, boo, are uh, getting together with POC <laughs> helmets. Got no argument with POC. No, um, and POC. they're getting the together to, to um, study the way a bike helmet reacts when it hits a car. And apparently that has never been done before. Most bike helmets, when tested, are just dropped from a height onto mm. the ground or, or punched with two heavy things. Never actually tested it on the front of a car. Right. So they tested it on the cars and they're using that to help design the POC helmets so that they are better designed to withstand something that can happen from time to time, which is banging your head on a car. And an interesting, there's a little video, feel free to look it up. Um, you know, largely I think it's a marketing exercise mm. for both POC helmets and Volvo, but I think it, at, at the heart, they've got their heart in the right place. One of the things in the video which, which struck me was the fact they said as a fact from their studies uh, and surveys that they've done that um, wearing a helmet, whatever helmet you've got, is it, it, it equates to an 80% reduction in the chance of a, of a serious head injury. Really? So if you're ever thinking to yourself, not why am I bothering? I'm not going to wear my helmet today. Yeah. Do wear your helmet today. Yeah, it's an interesting. Like when I first read the article, I sat there thinking, "What? They haven't tested for this before." Mm. But then I thought, "Oh no, yeah, as you say, most helmets are just tested for impact, but not mm. anything to do with cars." But I mean, I'd love to know what percentage of cycling crashes involve cars. You know. But that was the whole development of of the MIPS protection system was. It was just a single impact. They weren't testing what happened when you actually hit, and there was some rotation on an angle, a sheer angle, directions yeah. in it. So yeah, it kind of only makes sense. Let's, let's test it with what usually happens of a car turning into you. And yeah. I tell you what, they need to proper. test. For me, they need to only test. The only thing they need to test is what it's like when your helmet hits sideways on the footpath because you've forgotten to unclip at the lights and you just you get this that's the only time i fall off my bike <laughs> bam straight on my side so if you can test for that and you've been riding you're going to save me and you I, only, that you've got cleats. I would only need a helmet that only has one side on it because that's the only way i'm just going to get that's all yeah just a little side be very nice well it's the same for when you know instagram photos and you just speaking career into a wall speaking of which we like to end our ride live um series every day with a look at Tim's Instagram. I don't know even how I'm going to find what I don't even Instagram. remember there what exciting thing you're going to see on there. Um, oh, and, it's not a picture of me this time. And, you know, if, if, you, if you're not a follower, if you're, if you're new to, to our, our chats here, um, <laughs> Tim has just the most beautiful Instagram account, which is the sheer monotony of millions of photographs <laughs> of Tim and his friends wearing <laughs> blue Riding blue bikes. In the blue sunshine. In the blue sunshine. So, Have you know, you in check one? it out. Um, yeah, you, you do actually feature on one. Okay, so the latest one. The latest, the latest one. Latest one. one. I mean, what, the hell, what the hell that. is going on here? Let's have a um, of flu, that's, isn't it? That's, that's a couple of mates. Oh, wow. You plowing you along in the front. No, it was too cold are that morning. Are you a wheel sucker, are you? Well, <laughs> when I was taking pictures of them, I was. So what's happening here? You could, a couple of bums. Some sky. Uh, what are people learning when they look at this, Tim? Um, they're learning the beauty of cycling. Okay. The beauty the of being out with your mates on an early morning ride, sucking in the cold air, and then going for coffee. Okay. Oh, coffee. You've missed the coffee well, part. Oh, there's no photos of We do coffee. like to take the piss, but you are at 7,869 followers. So. Yeah. thousands thousand since episode one. Tell exactly. hey, you what, Tim, you've been putting in the hard yard. <laughs> the mystery continues here at the Ride Live, and it will continue. We'll see you next time when we unbox some more excellent stuff, find out what's happening, whether these shoes have floated away, and uh, what other photos of blue Tim has taken this week. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much to uh, Guild Trips, go see to Newmarket. Thanks to Warrells for the, uh, lending us the gear. See you next time.